Well, Pope Francis begins his 46th apostolic journey abroad. The Holy Father spent the first day of his trip in the small country of Luxembourg, where he spoke about the nation's crucial role in fostering European unity and peace. EWTN Vatican journalist Rudolf Gehrig has more. Only two weeks after the longest journey of his pontificate to Asia and Oceania, Pope Francis has set off once again, this time to the heart of Europe, for a short four-day visit to Luxembourg and Belgium. The Holy Father landed this morning in Luxembourg City, which no pope has visited since John Paul II in 1985. There he was greeted by Luxembourg officials, bishops and young people. Pope Francis started his visit by meeting privately with the Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg, the European country's head of state. At the end of the encounter, he signed the Book of Honor, where he wrote, protection of the dignity of persons, service to the common good, dialogue and international collaboration, this is what makes a state great. Luxembourg is a traditionally Catholic country, but it has become very secularized over the last decades. The nation is also multi-ethnic, as half of the country's population are migrants. We have the challenge how to bring these communities together, how to celebrate mass together, even if the, the question of the language is difficult. But in Luxembourg, I think it's the only country in the world where it's normal to celebrate mass, like in three, four languages. Um, so that everyone can understand uh, at least a little bit. The Holy Father also met with Luc Frieden, the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, and the country's civil authorities and diplomatic corps. In his address to them, he praised the small nation for its commitment to building a united and fraternal Europe. In the afternoon, Pope Francis spoke to the Catholic community of Luxembourg at the Cathedral of Notre Dame and encouraged the faithful to be missionaries ready to bear witness to the joy of the gospel in society. He then delivered a golden rose, a symbol of the papal blessing to the statue of Our Lady Consoler of the Afflicted for the 400th anniversary of its veneration. To see Pope Francis who's coming here and there uh, are ten thousands of people who come together to meet him, it shows that our church in Luxembourg is not dying. There still is hope, there's still a lot of young people who are happy to meet uh, Pope Francis and I hope that it gives us like, it gives us like an impulse to restart something. Later in the evening, Pope Francis boarded his next flight to Belgium, the second leg of his journey. The main goal of this visit will be the celebration of the 600th anniversary of the Catholic University of Leuven, where he will offer his thought of what Christianity still has to say to European culture. In Luxembourg, Rudolf Gerig, EWTN News Nightly.